Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and in this video I will tell you how to solve a first order ordinary differential equation by Milne's predictor character method in very easy language. So let's start. Our question is given dy by dx equals to half into x plus y where y of 0 equals to 2, y of 0.5 equals to 2.636 y of 1.0 equals to 3.595 and y of 1.5 equals to 4.968. Now we have to find out what is the value for y of 2 by Milnes method. So let's proceed to the solution. First we will use the predictor method to predict the estimate value and then we will use the corrector method to get the final value. So, Milner's predictor formula is given by y n plus 1 comma p here p stands for predictor formula equals to y n minus 3 plus 4h by 3 into 2 into y dash n minus 2 minus y dash n minus 1 plus 2 into y dash n. This is our formula number 1. Next, by putting n equals to 3 we will get this. We are putting n equals to 3 because here we are given 3 values of y. First is by 0.5, second is for 1.0 and third is for 1.5. So n equals to 3. So by putting n equals to 3, we will get y n plus 1 that is 3 plus 1 4 into p that is y 4 p equals to y 3 minus 3 that is 0 y 0 plus 4h by 3 into 2 into y3 minus 2 that is y1 minus y3 minus 2 that is y2 next 2 of y dash n that is y dash 3 this is our formula number 2 we will use this formula so we are given that x0 equals to 0 and y0 equals to 2 remember for Milnes method and Adams Bassford method to work with we need all total 4 values of y to start our calculation. Here all the 4 values are given. If not then you have to find out the values by Taylor's method. So here all the values are given and these are our first value y of 0 equals to 2. So x0 equals to 0 and y0 equals to 2. So x0 equals to 0, y0 equals to 2. Next y of 0.5 equals to 2.636 that means x, x1 equals to 0.5 and y1 equals to 2.636 similarly if you take all the values you will get a chart like this next the given differential equation is y dash equals to half into x plus y where dy by dx is written as y dash in short from the above equation we will calculate the values y dash 1, y dash 2 and y dash 3. So first we will calculate the y dash 1 value. For that we will use the x1 and y1 values. Remember 1 and 1. So half into x1 is 0.5 and y1 is 2.636. This is the expression we are given. In another question you may find a different expression but the process is same. Just take the expression and for y dash 1 values put x1 and y1 values in that expression and calculate. So for us the value will be 1.568. Similarly by putting x2 and y2 value we will get the y dash 2 value and by putting x3 and y3 value we will get y dash 3 value. Now by substituting values in formula number 2 we will get the formula is this and we will put the values y0 is our first value of y that is 2 plus 4 into h here h is the increment in the value of x increment is from 0, 0 0.5 1.0 1.5 1 you can see the increment is by 0 0.5 so h equals to 0 0.5 so 4 into 0 0.5 divided by 3, 2 into y dash 1, this value, minus y dash 2 value, 
this value plus 2 into y dot 3 value that is this value. So we will get 6.871. So our predicted value is 6.871. Now we will correct it to get the actual value by Milner's corrector formula which is this is the formula just pause the video and read the formula so by putting n equals to 0 we will get y4c here c represents the corrector formula equals to y2 plus hy3 into y dash 2 plus 4 y dash 3 plus y dash 4 which is our formula number 4 you can see this value we don't have right now y dash 4 value we have to calculate it by same process we will calculate it by putting x4 and y4 value so half into x4 value is our x value which we have to find out for and our y4 value we just calculated that is 6.871 so it will become 4.4355 now by putting required values in our corrector formula that is formula number 4 we will get this is our formula we will put the values y2 remember this is not y dash 2 this is y2 so that is 3.595 plus h is 0.5 divided by 3 into y dash 2 value this value plus 4 into y dash 3 value this value plus y dash 4 value this value so we will get 6.8731 so y of 2 equals to 6.8731 this is our required answer so friend this was my video how was the video let me know in the comments below i will upload another video on adam bassford method so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so that when i upload my next video you will get an email and if this video has helped you please help me by liking and sharing the video remember sharing is caring so thanks for watching, see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing.